In this video, created under the Perfect Initiative with the support of the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union, we will look into consequences within the framework of the three-term contingency, antecedents, behaviors, and consequences. This critical aspect of applied behavior analysis emphasizes the role of reinforcement and correction in shaping behavior. The last part of the ABCs is consequence, a stimulus change that follows a behavior of interest. Often the word consequence is used to describe something bad that has happened. However, consequences include pleasant events as well, such as rewards, fun activities, and social praise. It is important to determine the consequences that follow a behavior so that we can begin to hypothesize about what is maintaining a particular behavior. Once there is a pattern that can be identified, we can determine the environmental conditions that can be altered to promote behavior change. There are two broad categories of consequences. Reinforcement is any event that happens after a behavior that increases the probability of that behavior occurring again, and correction which is any event that happens after a behavior that decreases the probability that the behavior will happen in the future. A consequence falls into the category of reinforcement when occurrences of the behavior that precedes it is increasing. Sometimes the consequences we provide can serve as a reinforcer, with reinforcement increasing occurrences rather than an intended correction. Let's take a look at a concrete example Sending a yelling child to their room may serve as a reinforcer for the child if they wanted to go to their room anyway. Or they might even be doing it to get out of what they were supposed to do. For a child that likes attention, reprimands like, don't do that, can sometimes cause behaviors to keep happening because attention from people is reinforcing them. There will be more about reinforcement and correction in our learning platform. Another thing to consider with the three-term contingency is motivation, also known as motivating operations and setting events. Motivating operations and setting events are present before the antecedents and can be close or far apart from the target behavior. Motivating operations and setting events are activities that occur farther back in time from the antecedent and can increase or decrease the likelihood that a particular behavior will occur. Motivating operations and setting events are the underlying conditions that set the stage for the behavior to occur in the presence of a certain antecedent. They do not directly cause it, but can impact its occurrence. Motivating operations and setting events are the hidden triggers that can impact a behavior. For example, a student misses the school bus and forgets money to bring for a pizza day. Later in the morning, the teacher announces a surprise test, and the student throws a book across the room in protest. The motivating operations and setting events happened earlier in the morning and accumulated to set the stage for the behavior, which was throwing the book. People often mistake motivating operations and setting events for antecedents, but they do not cause the behavior. They just assist in creating the right environment for the behavior to occur. We should always bear in mind that behavior is communicating something. People continue to use problematic behavior because it has worked for them in the past. It may be the only way they know how to achieve their goal. We need to teach them more effective methods of dealing with things to replace problematic behaviors. If you are curious to find more, follow Perfect on Facebook for updates or visit the project platform at www.perfectproject.org.